in business, the Consumer Price Index, which measures inflation according to National Bureau of Statistics, increased by 12.40% year-on-year year, year on year in May of 2020. This is 0.06% points higher than the rate recorded in April 2020 at 12.34%. Increases were also were recorded in all COICOV divisions that yielded the headline index. Meanwhile, on a month-on-month -month basis, the headline index increased by 1.17% in May of 2020, which is 0.15 percent rate higher than the rate recorded in April of 2020 at 1.02%. To make sense of all of this, we have joining us live Mukhtar Mohammed, who is a financial analyst. Good morning, Mr. Mukhtar. Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. Always a pleasure. All right, help us make sense of it. What's your take on the recent rise in the inflation rate? It's not a surprise. Um, we expect it. Um, we we'll continue to see this um, plan out as we go through the year and over the pandemic. So it's, it's not surprising, but we need to look at what are the what are really causing this inflation. Mm, which, you is need to look at the, uh, which is the, my exact question. Which is my next question, the, rather. Yeah, what are yeah. the factors responsible for this? Yes, we look at the the planting season. You know, we just started the start of the planting season is um, April to May, and so we can't, uh, when you have the planting season, then you don't have the kind of supply you have because Nigerian planting season is generally April to April to May, and then September is our harvest season. So before we see a slowdown, especially in food, I may get to like September, and also not to forget the social distancing and um, the the interstate lockdown also have made cost of transportation a little bit high, especially in the movement of the goods and services from their various locations. And also the weaker exchange rate is also still a problem because we still import most of our food products. So and especially in the parallel market where you have the exchange rate is sitting for as high as 450, 51 Naira yesterday. So when you look at all that, you, you, you realize why we have this high inflationary rates going forward. Mm -hmm. Having established these factors, Mr. Mohammed, what immediate steps must be must be taken now to ease the figure? Well, um, unfortunately, uh, the steps that we are taking is not easing uh, uh, the figures because, um, like like I said, uh, the challenges of uh, movement of goods and services. So we need to print an improvement in that. We have to look at the FX rate also. CBN have not intervened in that market for a very long time. And just this morning, we had a news from the finance minister saying that uh, um, they will start, CBN will start receiving Forex direct from NNPC. And so, and also NNPC will continue to sell directly to CBN. And CBN also will receive from the major oil company Forex. So that could help boost our, our foreign reserve. And that will, uh, maybe CBN will start the intervention so to bring the rate. And they're trying to make the uniform rate which will be good. That's one, one area that will help um, going, going forward. But again, you, have, you, have, you also have to look at the COVID-19 intervention fund. In other developed nations, that fund has helped in reduction in terms of um, unemployment rate. But in us, it has not helped because of the, um, of the weak structure we have in terms of distribution of this palliative and stimulus. It, the structures are, no, we are, are very weak, and also government has not done anything um, to improve those uh, factors. So those are bad. Going forward, where will we have, well, like I said, the other, rate, the other thing we need to look at again is that um, when I say that we, we will not see the rate coming down anytime soon, you need to look at July, we have the, the tariff for electricity go high. According to the minister, I say there is no going back on this. And also, um, um, the, 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 that would be a very, very big, big minus to whatever the government is trying to do. All right, before we let you go now, as a financial analyst, in the long run, how can we get to a single-digit inflation rate? Well, <laughs> the best way we can get to a single-digit inflation rate is if we start consuming a lot of what we have. And that means we are not importing a lot of food products because we are aware of our, our, our resources and do not have the uh, infrastructure to, to manufacture them here. Yeah, we take them out, especially again, if the oil, the, the, especially the oil sector, whereby our, our crude is being sold and refined there also and being brought back here with this exchange rate volatility, we'll continue to see that impact uh, on, our, on, on our FX rate. Mm -hmm. So what we do is what the CBN have done, they've tried to bring the import-export windows to attract investors. And that has worked for the for a very long time until recently when this pandemic came in. 
So for me, I think and the 12 month period that the Minister for Finance is, um, is, is now advocating could be a solution when you look at that, we could add to our bottom line also and our reserve. And not to forget that we have the oil bids that was going to go on for about 42 oil well. Some of those um, uh, revenue that we get from, from those from those uh, sales could help also boost our reserve. And in turn, CBN will be able to do the normal monthly or weekly uh, weekly intervention they normally do in the market to bring the exchange rate to, 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 um, to synergize all the exchange rate, uniform exchange rate. But the challenge is that the best way to do it is to have a market determining exchange rate. And that market determining exchange rate can only be achieved if finally uh, we start maybe doing our, our most of our consumable way. We are able to produce it and especially the importation of crude uh, oil stock if we have good refineries like what we expect uh, in the near future. All right. Uh, financial analyst Mukhtar Mohammed, thank you for your contributions this morning. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day. Amen. And you too.